Hey guys, if you've been following my channel for a while, you'll know that a lot of my videos lately have focused around uh, different ways that you can get more out of your Chromebook. So my first video showed how to kind of like dual boot or run Ubuntu in a virtual machine alongside Chrome OS. Then I did some other videos on how to install Ubuntu or Kali Linux as a standalone operating system. And um, I've got a lot of really good reception from that. And one of the things that keeps popping up in my head that I'd like to see uh, how to do is how to install Windows on a Chromebook. Recently, I got a comment from somebody saying that they were able to get Windows 10 installed on their Chromebook. And we had some back and forth and I finally got some more information on uh, where they got their information and that sort of thing. Um, I did some more research because they had sent me to another YouTube channel. So I went to that channel where they had made a video uh, probably real similar to this. Um, but I scrolled through their, uh, through their description and found uh, more information and actually a, a website where I was able to get even more information and kind of go through this process. So I want to give a big shout out to uh, whoever is behind the website, coolstar.org. They've got a very cool website that uh, is very intuitive to navigate to find the information about uh, which Chromebooks are, um, are are compatible with this. And, and if you've got questions about, is my Chromebook compatible, uh, go there and find out. The one thing you will need to know is what uh, CPU your Chromebook has. Uh, that's kind of one of the, one of the big steps to getting to um, to getting to the right bit of information for uh, for you doing this. So you are gonna need uh, a few things in order to do this. Uh, you're gonna need a, a USB drive that you can store some information on uh, for later on in the process. Uh, obviously, you're gonna need a Chromebook, you're gonna need a small screwdriver, and you're gonna need an internet connection. Um, so as long as you've got all of that, it's pretty safe to go ahead and move forward with the rest of this video. But uh, enough of me yammering, let's go ahead and switch camera angles and jump into this. Okay, so the first thing you need to do here um, before we can really do anything else at this point is you're going to have to take off the bottom of your Chromebook and there's going to be a bunch of screws down here, of course, along the edges like you would expect. Um, and then in this case on the C720, there are two more here in the middle that you'll have to take off and one of these has this um, the sticker over it saying uh, warranty is void if seal is broken. So by doing this, you are going to void your warranty. So just know that going into this. Now, I don't know if you can see this or not. I've already removed all of the screws. Uh, I've already been through this several times and I'm in and out of here so much. I don't even bother putting the screws back on here. Uh, you can do that at your own discretion here. So um, and the next thing, of course, that we're gonna have to do is actually remove the bottom of this. And, and really it's not that difficult. You've just got to kind of get under here a little bit You can find a spot and just peel it up like that. It just comes off. We'll set that aside for right now. We will need that. Uh, one thing I can say is while the, the bottom of this is off, uh, it won't turn on. The Chromebook will not turn on when the bottom isn't in place. So that's just kind of a safety thing that they have done there. Now, now the reason we have to take this apart, uh, take the bottom off and whatnot, is we've got to remove the right protection screw. And it's really easy to find uh, if you know where you're looking or what to look for. Um, in this case, again, this is on the uh, Acer C720. Uh, yours may be different, but um, here's where it is on, on this device. You'll have to do some research to figure out where it is on yours. All we've got to do here is actually just move this out of the way. And right here, there's a screw. Um, and it's a big screw that's making contact with both sides of this soldered point here. And that's what's keeping um, the right protection in place for modifying the BIOS the way we need to modify it. So what we're going to do here is real simple. We're just going to take this screw out. Just like that. And like I said, it's just it's just this one little screw here. Uh, we take that out and, and now we're good to go. So we'll set that aside someplace we won't lose it. We're gonna go ahead and put that back in place. And then we'll go ahead and put the bottom back on. Like I mentioned before, I never put the screws back in just because I'm in and out of here so much. I'll make sure all that's clicked in and feels good. There we go. And then when we flip it over, it should, uh, we should be able to turn it back on. Okay, so on this screen, it's gonna be asking us to log in to our Chromebook or sign in, however you wanna word that, but it's gonna ask us to sign in. And we don't need to do that for, uh, for this part of what we're gonna do. Uh, what we're gonna do is we'll click on, on Browse as Guest. And then here in a second, it's gonna pop up a screen saying you're browsing as guest. There you go. Um, and so the next step is going to be, we wanna open up a, um, 
a, a cross a screen. So we do Control Alt T, and that's going to bring us here. And we're going to type in shell. If we hit Enter, it's going to say Error Unknown Command Shell, and that's because we're not in uh, developer mode. If you get this error right here, where it says Unknown Command sh Shell, it means you're not in developer mode, and you need to stop and back up and get yourself into developer mode. Okay, so here I'm going to show you how to put your Chromebook into developer mode, and it's actually really, really easy. Uh, the first thing, your Chromebook has to be off. Um, you turn it off to start. Um, then we're going to press Escape, Reload, and we're going to press and hold those. We're going to keep those held while we tap the power button, but we're going to keep holding these buttons down. And then it's going to come up, and it's going to give us this error here. And, and when we get this error, this is fine, we're going to press Control D. Here it says to turn OS verification off, press enter. That's what we want to do. Okay, so it says OS verification is off. That's fine. Uh, we can go ahead and just let this sit here for a minute while it thinks, or I believe we can press control D um, and then it should go ahead and take us into um, our normal boot sequence. Oh, so now it's gonna take us into this um, and it's gonna transition into developer mode. Uh, this, this will take a little while up at the top. It says starting in 30 seconds and it will, it doesn't give you a countdown or anything, but it says it's starting in 30 seconds. Um, and then it's gonna give a, a, once it gets to that point, uh, then eventually we will get a progress bar up here uh, that will explain uh, what it's doing and, and give us kind of a percentage timeline as far as how much longer we're gonna have to sit here and wait for it to do its thing. And here we go. Now we've got our timer saying we're at five seconds in, uh, we're at 8% and ETA of one minute, about a minute there. So we'll just go ahead and let this sit for another minute. And just like that, we are we are in developer mode now. Uh, it's gonna bring up this screen saying OS verification is off. That's good, that's what we want. Uh, here it's saying press space if you wanna re-enable that, we don't. Uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and press Control D so we don't have to wait. <clears throat> and I, I apologize for that flicker, that sucks, but it should go away uh, here in just a minute, hopefully. And yeah, a little better. Okay, so here we are. Uh, now it's gonna ask us to uh, do the normal thing of connecting to a wireless network here. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that as soon as it pops up. Uh, the one I'm looking for, there it is. That, and I'll type in. Go ahead and connect to that. Yeah, that's fine, I accept. None of this matters anyway. We're breaking all of their terms and conditions and everything by doing what we're about to do here. So. None of that really matters. Okay, so this should look familiar. Um, this is kind of where we started from originally, saying sign in. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and browse as a guest. So go ahead and click that. And then again, we're gonna do the same thing we did earlier. We're gonna press Control, Alt, T. It's gonna bring up Crush, and then we're gonna type in Shell. Cool, so that time it worked. If you get this far, you're doing good. Um, so what we're gonna do here is actually uh, completely change our BIOS uh, from being like a Chromebook BIOS to being something a little closer to like a laptop or a desktop, something like that where we can actually basically install anything we want. And uh, in order to do that, um, we're gonna we're gonna type some kind of a, a long command in here. Oops, that's not at all what I meant to do. Sorry, I'm trying to multitask here and I'm doing a crap job of it. So uh, let me uh, copy and paste that into a new window there. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in cd space um, tilde. Uh, tilde is shift and this key up here um, on your Chromebook. It's gonna be uh, always in this position, basically any keyboard you get on, it's gonna be up there somewhere. So it's gonna be tilde, um, then semicolon, space, curl, um, minus uh, capital L, space, minus capital C, right? No, sorry, capital O, what am I thinking? I'm gonna do HTTPS, colon, forward slash, forward slash, uh, coolstar.org slash Chromebook slash setup dash firmware 
dot sh space ampersand ampersand space sudo bash setup dash oops firmware dot sh so this curl command is telling the first part of this to download this uh this uh, shell file this dot sh file and then we're saying also when you, once you're done with that then go ahead and execute that file so we'll go ahead and set, hit enter okay so this is good this is what we want to see here um, and basically what we want to do is go ahead and install or update the full rom firmware that's what we want to do in this case we're going to select one we're going to press enter saying hey this is a standard disclaimer if you do this you could break your device you're going to avoid your warranty you've been warned are you sure you want to continue we're going to say yes do you want to create a backup of uh, of your stock firmware i can't express how important this is to do if you ever want to restore your Chromebook back to like manufacturer settings or be able to restore Chrome OS, that kind of thing, the answer to this should be yes. You're going to want a USB stick that you can just dedicate to this and not worry about losing the ROM file that it's going to put on there. So uh, we're going to say, yes, I want to do that. Now it says connect a USB device to store the firmware backup and press enter. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to plug it into the side over here. Like so, I'm gonna press, see now it's saying removable device detected, that's good, and press enter. Saying, hey, it's on your Sony storage media, you wanna use that one. Or it's gonna say, enter the number of the device you wanna use, I'm gonna say one, because that's the only one I've got. I'm gonna press enter. Now it's creating a backup, and it's storing it to my USB drive. Saying, remove the USB stick, and press enter to continue. So I'm gonna remove that, and I'm gonna press enter. So now it's going to go ahead and download the um, the ROM that's specific to this device, uh, this C720 from Acer. Then it's going to go ahead and install the fir full ROM firmware. Cool. So th now that's done. Now it says press enter to return to the main menu. So now we've got some options. We can do some of this other stuff, but we're not going to. We're going to press R to reboot because that's what we want to do. So now it's gonna take a second to think, but now we've got this whole other thing going on here. Um, so this is completely new uh, that we haven't seen on a Chromebook before. And because we didn't have, uh, like in this case, I believe um, I've got uh, Windows on this. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and double check that. I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go ahead and power it off. No, no nothing, nothing's gonna get hurt there. Go ahead and turn it back on. And I think, again, I think I've got Windows on there and we should be able to tell here real quickly uh, if if I do or if I've got something else on there, uh, I don't remember what's uh, what's on that one, but it's thinking. Yeah, so here we go. Check this out. Now we've got our little Windows spinner like we're used to seeing from a Windows install. And now we can actually go through the process of installing Windows.
Okay guys, so that's really it. It's just a few steps. It's it's a couple of command lines. It's a bit of waiting. Um, and and really it's not that terribly difficult. Um, again, there is that that spot in there that I put about uh, if you get the uh, the the shell message or the shell command not being a recognizable command, go back and put your your Chromebook into uh, developer mode. Uh, that should be step number one. Uh, but if you get that error, that's what it is, and that's why I threw that little bit of uh, video in there as well. Um, so hopefully uh, this will open up some new avenues for you. Uh, I should also mention that this isn't just to install Windows. Uh, basically, anything that will accept an Intel processor, you can install. Um, now there. I believe he's also, the, the, the people behind coolstar.org are also working on uh, being able to install like Mac OS X, things like that. Um, I don't have any interest in that at the moment and uh, my Chromebook won't handle it due to uh, memory and RAM uh, deficiencies, I guess. So, um, but I wanted to show how to unlock the BIOS in your, your Chromebook so you can do things like install Windows or different versions of Linux or, or really unlock the true potential of what is there uh, from, from what you've got. So uh, hopefully the video was helpful. If you did enjoy it, if you found it helpful, do me a favor, give the video a thumbs up, maybe share it uh, with somebody else who is also looking for something like this. That would be amazing. So I think that's going to pretty much wrap it up. Uh, covers, I think, everything I wanted to cover in this video. If you've got questions or comments or any of that kind of stuff, other video ideas, go ahead and leave those in the description down below as per usual. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support, and I'll talk to you in the next video.